It sounds like science fiction. Creating a baby using DNA from three people. The UK is one step closer to becoming the first country in the world to do just that. Experts say it could prevent some potentially fatal diseases from being passed on from mother to child. But critics say it's opening up a Pandora's box to the creation of designer babies. So, Dr. Debbie is here with her take on this. What do you think, designer babies? Well, the designer baby part is scary, but the first thought that I had when I heard about this was just amazement and awe. I mean, if you think about it, throughout all the centuries that humans have been around, we've never been able to do this. I mean, you always have uh, donor sperm, donor eggs, you might have surrogates who can carry the baby through, but you've never actually had three parents contribute their genetic material to one baby. So it's actually kind of revolutionary, but it is scary as well with some of the ethical implications. Oh, okay, so then how much DNA would come from a donor? I mean, could one child end up looking like them more than its parents? No, so this is actually for a very focused type of disease, mitochondrial disease. Uh -huh. So the idea is that almost all of our genetic material is in the nucleus, which is the control center of every cell. But we have a little bit of genetic material in something called the mitochondria, which is the powerhouse of the cell. So people with mitochondrial diseases, they have problems where if it's in the muscle or the brain, they don't have enough energy in those cells, so they can really suffer, especially as kids, and they can die. So what is what is mitochondrial disease? It's not having enough energy? What is it? Exactly. It's that the cell doesn't have enough energy. So it uses up whatever, whatever it has, and then the children actually suffer. So they can have weakness, they can have problems with thinking, they can have a lot of different problems. And the idea here is that if you use mitochondria from a third person, you may be able to avoid this problem. So you may be able to give birth to kids that don't have mitochondrial diseases anymore. Coming to a state near you, I know it's in the UK, is it gonna come here? Well, they're starting the research in the UK. So they have passed the regulations, or uh, passed the uh, ability to be able to start drafting they're regulations. They're not doing it now. They're not doing it yet, and especially because there's so much controversy surrounding the whole issue, it may be some time before we actually see it come here. All right, Dr. Debbie, very interesting. We'll hear a lot about this in the future, thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.